guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a beautiful, creative week, and let's get into today's video. Um, I am sorry, just as a quick side note here, that uh, it's taken me a bit to get to your comments. I do read them all, love them all, and I will be getting back to them this week. So yes, let's move on. Um, Welcome to the Art Addicts Alliance second theme, one with nature. So there's a few updates, um, and links and stuff I'm going to describe to you down below. Uh, once I'm just, I'm going to talk about the artwork first and then I'll get into that. So, uh, along with this month, uh, we have our very first featured artist, and that is Draw Art Lab. I will leave a link to their channel down below with all their wonderful art videos. And please check them out this month. We are so super thrilled to have them as our featured artist. Now, with the very f the very first thought I had with this theme uh, was of the artist Susan Seden Boulay. And if you guys have not heard of her, go Google her. She was a fantastic uh, shamanistic artist. From the 70s to the near end of the 90s. She died in 1997, actually. And uh, she's particularly known for her spirit bear art, which is incredibly beautiful. Um, so in her art, um, the boundaries break down sort of between uh, plant, animal, uh and the human, the world of the humans, uh, fall sort of like flowing, flowing into it and through it and through our lives and the kind of symbols that we use nowadays. And I wanted to reflect that into this theme for this month because it's just like her artwork was was just filled in my head, and I wanted to sort of reflect that beauty in in her work. Because she used pastels to such a beautiful, glowy effect. It was incredible. And I wanted the girl in this drawing to be almost like uh, a shaman girl. Half human, half animal. So I sort of split her face. Um, even making her eyes slightly different on each side. So one more animalistic, one more human. <laughs> if you can you can tell. Um, I then added some spirit animals uh, she calls upon, sort of, I guess there's a little, some little backstory there. Uh, I wanted to add in a few Canadian wildlife, like the orca, the orca whales there, the polar bear, which I love polar bears, <laughs> they, <laughs> they're so cute. Um, the deer and the wolf, and I added some snowy owls in there, which I sort of hoped would come out better, but they were, they were kind of hard. Uh, and just for a little bit of fun, I added a little butterfly mouse, <laughs> which was just a little fun to do. Um, uh, to, so to make the human figure in the center there a little more goddess-like, I added like um, a moon phase crown with stars on her head so on her crown you actually see the different phases of the moon as it goes from full moon to new moon you know and the moons you can't really see in this one because it's on the back of her head but <laughs> yeah um, I also decided to keep this piece small and I went a little, um, a lot easier on the details this time because I wanted to make sure I finished this on time. <laughs> so the biggest challenge in this was the wolf. The wolf was quite hard to draw and I wanted to make sure it actually looked like a wolf and not, you know, too much like a domesticated dog. <laughs> so I did my best. Um, so now getting into a few updates here. Um, Art for Fun is having a giveaway for um, one of her art prints. So please go check her out for that and how you can enter. Uh, her link will be down below. So go enter that. It'll be fun to have some of her awesome art. Um, also, the poll for next month is now up 
and ready for you guys to cast your vote that will uh, be determined what we draw next month. So check out that link down below. Also, many of you uh, might know Dory from Dory Stories. She is going through such um, a rough, a rough patch right now, and it's not my place to say what that is. Please go visit her channel. She has videos there explaining what she's she's going through, and go show her some love. She's an incredibly talented woman, and she's absolutely beautiful. So go visit her, please. Um, uh, that being said, some some of us in the Art Addicts Alliance really wanted to help her out. So an art raffle has been set up. The link to that will be down below. I'm also going to put in Claire's video of Black Summer Coloring's video explaining how you enter that raffle. Because uh, she explains it the best. So go visit Claire and see how you can enter the raffle. Um... There are like some original arts, some prints. Uh, there, I think there's also, from what I heard, there's some art supplies in there as well. And anything you could give, you, I think you donate whatever amount that you can, and just, just to help Dory out. And it would be anything that you can give would be a huge, huge help to Dory. She needs all the support and love and boost. That she needs right now to help her through this and just go show her some love guys she is incredible and so all that will be lift link link down below <laughs> for you to go visit I know there's lots and lots of links today please 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 go check them all out you know take take some time and and do that you will not be sorry that you did <laughs> so all that. I'm sorry this video is a little bit short. I I was pressed for time. My neighbors are awful. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed our theme for this month, guys. And thank you so, so much for joining me and spending your time with me today. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.